Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video. iOS 16 is finally here. And of course, with it comes the brand new lock screen, which has a ton of options to customize it and make it look your own and look really, really unique. So in this video, I will show you guys a tutorial on how to customize the lock screen on your iOS 16 device and create some really cool setups that will make your device look different from other ones. All right, so the first step to have a cool setup on the lock screen of your iOS 16 device is to subscribe to the channel. Now, most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed, so please make sure to do so. It really helps out a lot. And now let's move on to the actual first step. So let's head on to the lock screen. So we will create a lock screen here from the beginning and I will show you guys every option that you have here. So you 3D touch on the lock screen, move here and tap the plus button. From here, what you can do is choose photos or choose emojis or choose the featured wallpaper from Apple here. So let's just go ahead, go to photos and pick a wallpaper of our own. Now here I have a bunch of wallpapers that will look really cool on the lock screen of an iOS 16 device. These are downloaded from Wallpaper Central, so make sure you search for that app on the App Store. You will find some pretty cool wallpapers. So once you have added the wallpaper, you can see this has the depth effect right there, which makes it look really awesome. You can actually resize the wallpaper, actually move it around, zoom in and out, and adjust the depth effect right there. So you can see if you zoom in too close, it will actually remove the depth effect, but you will have to actually just adjust it so that it doesn't remove the depth effect. So make sure you're careful when zooming in and you will get like a perfect look right there with a the depth effect. Now the bad thing is that if you actually use widgets right here at the bottom, it will remove the depth effect. So that's really negative on the lock screen of iOS 16. Hopefully that will be fixed. Now what you can actually do is have a widget at the top, which won't actually remove the depth effect. So you tap right there at the current date and you will have here the widgets that you can use. Now, of course, these will be widgets that you have installed from Apple stock apps in the future. There will be, of course, third party apps that will offer widgets as well. In the next few days, we'll most likely see a bunch of those, but these are the ones that you can use right now. I have a few here that are from third party apps, but that are still on beta. So once you have added your widget at the top, you will still have the depth effect here, which looks really cool. The next thing you can do here is, of course, change the font and change the color. Now, the color will have effect on the clock, on the widget at the top and the widget at the bottom as well. So you just tap on the clock right there and you can choose any font you want here. So you can see you have eight different fonts to customize from and then you will have different colors that you can pick. Now you can pick these colors and also adjust right here the transparency of the lock screen elements, which is really nice. And what you can also do is swipe all the way here, tap here and pick any color you want from here. And the really cool thing that I really like is that you can also pick the color by tapping here. Let's just do that again. Tap there and you can just go ahead and pick any color from this wallpaper and then apply it to the clock and the date, of course, and all the widgets that you have on the lock screen. And now let's move on to the widgets. So you can add, of course, widgets, but as I said, it will remove the depth effect. Hopefully that will be fixed in the future. Tap to add widget and what you will find here is a, a few suggestions Then you will have all the apps that offer widgets. You tap on one of them and you will have different options. So you will have smaller and bigger widgets. You can actually have up to four smaller widgets. You can have two bigger ones or you can have one bigger one and two smaller widgets. So let's just add one right there and then go ahead and add some smaller ones like from fitness. Let's just add one maybe from here from stocks. Let's find a small one just like that. Now that we have added the widgets, you can see they will have the exact same color as the clock right there. So let's just change it to white. It will look better. So there we have the widgets. Now, most of the widgets will also offer different options. So from here, I have you can see the battery widget. It will show the percentage of my iPhone right here. But if I just tap on it, like this, I can switch off automatic and go ahead and just find other devices that I have. For example, I have right here my AirPods. So once they're connected, they will show here. So if I tap right there, you can see I have the AirPods Pro or the case, whichever one I want. So I can have multiple of these widgets and choose what device I want to display there. 
or for example right here on the stocks i can choose what i want which stock i want to show right there so you can change them to anything you like so this is really really cool and with other widgets coming from third party apps really soon i'm really excited to see what devs will offer and what can be done with the lock screen widgets now this is the lock screen we just created as you can see you will have quite a few options now from here what you can also do is link a focus to that lock screen so anytime I enable a focus mode it will enable this lock screen of course with all the features that it has so you can just go ahead and link any focus you want from here now one really cool thing that you can do on iOS 16 with a lock screen is that you can add wallpapers that will change automatically and you will have actually a few really cool options so just tap the plus button and tap on photo shuffle tap right there and pick the photos that you want to use so once you choose the photos there what you can do is tap the three dots right here and you can choose how you want to change those photos so you can choose daily so every day the lock screen will change the wallpaper on the lock screen will change to a new one from the photos that you have selected from your photo library you can do that hourly unlock so anytime you lock and unlock your device you will have a new wallpaper or you can choose here on tap so anytime you tap the lock screen it will switch to another wallpaper now if you want to edit those you tap right here it shows you the photos that you have you can add more or select and remove any one that you want so once you have done that of course you can add the widgets and anything normally once you have done that here we have the wallpaper and you can see now all I have to do with this lock screen is just tap on it and it will switch to a new wallpaper anytime I tap the lock screen. This can be done as I said hourly, daily or unlock so anytime you lock and unlock your device you will have a new wallpaper. Another way to customize the lock screen on iOS 16 is to add emojis to the lock screen. This is actually pretty cool. Go ahead and tap the plus button and choose emoji right there. So you will have a bunch of different emojis here that you can use. Of course, you can add multiple up to six different emojis and you can use those to create lock screens. So just like that, you can see you will have their small grid. You can switch like just swipe here, medium grid. And you can see you can switch between like different patterns just like that you can see this one is pretty cool you tap the three dots here you can choose to have a color on the background of them have a different color any color you want just like that you can have like some really cool setups with emojis that you want and if you tap here you can always go ahead and just change to different emojis so let's just choose a few different ones here so you can basically choose any emoji you want and create some really really cool lock screens for your device so again you can tap here to anytime customize your emojis or just choose here any pattern you want and have a really cool lock screen with some emojis on it and last but not least is colors apple actually offers a way to create your own wallpapers with ios 16. so you tap the plus here to add a new lock screen and you can tap on color right here we'll have a few different colors that you can choose from and of course create a wallpaper with those colors so you can choose the strength of the color right here and then you have like different setups here that you can use so you will have like vibrant you will have toned you will have deep vapor bright and also a solid color if you want to now this is really cool if you want to have like a minimalistic look on the lock screen of your device and just create a simple lock screen you can just simply pick any color you want and have like a really cool wallpaper on your iPhone without having to bother downloading wallpapers from any apps or websites. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. This is how you can customize the lock screen on your iOS 16 device and have some really, really cool setups on your new iOS 16 device. That's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more iOS 16 videos. I will be uploading a ton of those this week so make sure to subscribe and of course leave a like on this one as it helps out a lot and i'll see you on the next video